Pixel season is definitely right around the corner and the amount of leaks that we are getting on the upcoming Pixel devices confirms it. Following the recent leaks showing product images of from the Arctic Blue and the orange slash coral Google Pixel 7a, we now have real-life images of what seems to be retail units with the carbon and Arctic Blue colorways. So hey everyone, I am Ayush and if you are new here, don't be shy, do subscribe now. The images were shared on Twitter by leaker at Snoopy Tech and feature both the carbon and Arctic Blue Google Pixel 7a in various states of an unboxing. These images give us a better look at what the colors will look like in real life. Leaker at Snoopy Tech recently shared images on Twitter that showcase the carbon and Arctic Blue Google Pixel 7a in different stages of unboxing. These images provide us with a more accurate representation of how the colors will appear in real life. We also get a very good look at the carbon variant, which looks to have a very glossy back, probably enough to confuse many on whether this phone includes a glass back or the same faux glass 3D thermoformed composite back that was used on the Pixel 6a. Regardless of the material, the color very much resembles that obsidian color that was used for the Pixel 7. Thankfully, we are only 12 days away from Google I.O., the Android developers conference where Google has recently taken to announce new and upcoming hardware, and where the Google Pixel 7a is expected to be unveiled along with the Google Pixel Fold. Seemingly, the reseller obtained at least one Pixel 7a unit a month ago, with the second posted last week on Facebook Marketplace. While the photos do not reveal any device details, they provide a first look at Google's new Arctic Blue colorway. In fact, the tone is so subdued that some people have mistaken it for gray. Regardless, the Pixel 7a appears to blur the lines between Google's flagship and Pixel A series. With a 90Hz OLED display, a Tensor G2 chipset and wireless charging support, little will separate it and the Pixel 7. Presumably, camera performance will be worse on the Pixel 7a than the Pixel 7, but a new 64MP primary camera, Sony IMX787, should help narrow the gap between the IMX363 in the Pixel 6a and the ISIS LGN1 in the Pixel 7. Finally, what are your thoughts about it? Do let us know in the comments section. Hope you liked and subscribed to this channel. I will see you in next one.